Hey guys, happy Sunday. I am rolling solo today because Arsenal lost. I know I have no interest whatsoever in the game, but our God just loves, loves. I think um, it's even beyond love when it comes to Arsenal. Like he does not joke with the game. So they lost today. I was sensing a little bit of irritation on his part. Yes, Oga loves Arsenal. Absolutely loves Arsenal. And uh, whenever they lose, it affects his mood. So, um, I do not want anybody to rush me on getting ready for church today. And I also woke up, I woke up a little bit on the later side. So I said I'll just take my time, get ready and head to church. And I am not late. I am not late. But the kids, they start their Sunday school much earlier than the adult service. So it's very important to get them there on time. But August time is like Oyibo time. You must be there exactly on time. So he took the kids. <laughs> Less wahala because this whole Asana thing, I cannot deal with it. Like I know, I know him enough. We've been married for... 10 years now thank god marriage is not easier it's not but thankfully we are 10 years strong oh so i know him well enough it's been 10 years now so i know him well enough to know that whenever asana loses a game you know the little things that really doesn't matter to him on a normal day little things that don't really irritate him on a normal day he finds it irritating never as an is the game so what i did is i just carved that ball <laughs> i said i will meet you guys at church so i will meet the fan band at church that's what we are doing how is your sunday going My enemy. And our enemy. And these two are twins. <laughs> Very good. Very good. This is thanks to their auntie Franga who's been teaching them their numbers. Say happy Sunday, Nimo. <laughs> Baby, happy Sunday, Nimo. Sundama. Hi, Mban. Sunday. Sunday. Obachioka. Obachioka, Oma. Obachioka, Oma. Obachioka, Oma. To you guys, okay? Good morning guys. This is a little up close. Let me move it out a little bit. There you go. Good morning guys. Uh, it is a Thursday. Thursday, the exact date, I don't know. But today is Thursday. I believe it's the 11th or 10th. One of those days. Um, I woke up this morning feeling very motivated. Um, it is actually 5 a.m. right now, but I woke up extra early. I woke up very early to get my workout going. I miss it. Um, I miss the feeling that I got after a workout. I miss the feeling that, I, I just miss that whole feeling of feeling generally well, generally healthy. Um, I don't want to, I don't want to get to the point where I am concerned again about my blood pressure. I do not want to be back there again. I don't want to get to the point where I'm concerned about my breathing. Um, when I walk up, a mile or so and I'm trying to catch my breath I don't want to get to that point again and because of that I am getting back on the workout and thank you guys for sharing your story some of you guys told me that you started when I started and you have lost so much or you started along the line somewhere while watching my video and you decided to just get going and dish the blood pressure medication and you are doing so well you don't even know how much that motivates me you, you 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 can't even comprehend that so thank you so much for sharing your stories with me um yes i am getting back on the workout because i enjoyed the feeling that i got while i was doing it 
And you know, the truth of the matter is I know what works for me. I really do. But what happened is that somewhere along the line, I just slacked off. I know that skipping at least five times a day really helps me because I'm um, trying to get to the gym is just not an option right now with the little kids and work and everything else. So I just skip at home and that really works for me. But you know, somewhere along the line, I just kind of stopped doing what works. And of course the consequence of that was the weight gain. So, um, getting back on the skipping again, today's the day and also getting back to the eating right, you know, for the most part, I say for the most part, because you know, I, <laughs> I eat right mostly and I allow myself to indulge. That is important to me because if I don't allow myself to indulge every now and then, um, it's going to affect me. <laughs> no, just eating 100% clean is not for me. I know that for a fact. I'm going to eat mostly right. I don't, I don't have any set diet. I don't. Um, uh, I don't see diets working out for me. Um, and what I was doing then is, um, I was eating mostly my greens every day. I will eat my bowl of salad at least once a day. And then every now and then along the line somewhere, I will eat your quote unquote, not so healthy food. And by that, I mean, you know, things you were consider not healthy. I allow myself to indulge in that once in a while, but for the most part, I was just eating healthy. And that's a routine that I know works for me. <clears throat> that's a routine that I know works for me and I just need to get back to doing it. So yes, if you are new to this journey, come along, join us. Um, if you're already doing this and you are attaining your results upon results, keep up with the good job. Keep up with the good job and we're going to catch up somehow, okay? keep doing what you're doing so yes we are getting back on this wagon we're going to try this yet again and we are hoping to attain our so goals. right before i stop there's two things that i tried that works for me one is the i think this is called the waist belt it is not one of those waist cinchers it's just um, something to wrap around your belt and this help wrap around your waist rather and this helps kind of stabilize your core. I skip more and my skips are really um, more effective because I have this, my waist is not struggling when I have this on. So I have this and then I top it off with a workout vest. And this two combine together, magic for skipping, okay? And I know this because I tried it, I think, two days or so before I kind of stopped for a while. So I'm going to be incorporating it. I'll put it on and show you guys what it looks like. So this one I found at Ross. All you do is just kind of um, wrap it around your waist. That's all. What I do when I look for mine, I look for one that has um, a nice length for my waist. I am 5'11". I have a longer torso. I just look for one that has a good length for me to work with so this like I said just kind of wraps around your waist like so there's not much to it the goal is just to help your core um, be a little bit more stable when you're working out and then once I'm done wrapping around the waist belt, I just put on a vest, a workout vest. And like I told you guys, these two combined are just magic for the waist. And when the core is stabilized, I feel like I skip more and my skipping is more effective. And this vest I got from um, Amazon a long time ago. I hadn't quite used it because I couldn't figure out how to <laughs> I couldn't figure out how to use it I didn't know if they wanted me to just wear the vest and the vest alone I wasn't comfortable with that and then after I discovered that you can wear it over a shirt I am um, 
that's when I knew that this really works. It doesn't help you lose weight. You, of course, have to work to lose the weight. But while you're working, it just helps stabilize your core. So, you know, the belly is not bouncing all over the place. All right, so now we're ready to start skipping. So the only thing else you need, of course, is your jump rope. And you are ready to start skipping. I'm excited. I have missed this so much. I am ready to go. Let's go, guys. A thousand one hundred feels so good. Look at my hair. So I wore this hair to work recently and I kept on getting a lot of compliments on the hair. Um, and funny enough, I was meant to throw this hair away. I bought this hair almost about uh, four years ago, four or five years ago. Yes, that long. Um, this is when uh, doing your own wig was in vogue and all of that. This is the first wig I ever made. The very first wig I ever made with Indian hair. And, um, you know, then there wasn't much texture to um, select from. And now I feel it's so silky. It just does not look like my hair. It doesn't resemble my hair. There's other wigs out there that mimic the natural texture more than this. So this was longer. I'm like, you know, I can't. I, I just cannot. I can't do with this wig anymore. So then I thought about maybe trying, because I've been wanting to get a short wig for a while now. I said, let me try cutting this to see how it turns out. And it, it turned out pretty okay. It turned out all right. I can't turn back to show you the back right now because I am obviously driving. But um, I love the look. It gives me that whole soccer mom look, which I don't mind, you know? Look at that. Look at it from the side. And I think I did a very good job with the cutting of it. What I did is just, I just cut it to the length that I, I like. And I just kind of bumped it in and that was it i'm digging it i think i did a good job so just cycled my uh blood pressure for the day i fixed the battery and the one that i used to use at home it's just more convenient for me to use and to worry about whether or not i'm violating the patient's information act whatever so checking the blood pressure at home right now and it just cycled and it's one of the best that i've seen in a while it is 116 over 80 my uh, pulse is 86, 116. I like that, I like that. I like to keep it in the range of 110s to 120s. Anything higher than that, 130s, 140s, is when I am uncomfortable. But you know, the funny thing is, there was a su study recently done that I believe it was New England Medical Journal saying that really anything below 140 is good if you don't have any significant heart problems but if you have any heart problems or if um, you have any heart issues in your family then you really want to keep it lower than 130s but anything below 140 on any healthy adults is actually okay but i do like for my numbers to be between 110 and 120 so this i am very very happy about and i'm also happy to report to you guys i think i already mentioned it before that i'm back on track now i am working out consistently now um what seems to happen is that i skip one day i skip one day i just allow myself to rest but as far as workout is concerned um mostly the skipping like you guys know i'm doing that and i am able to do that five days a week no not five days there's seven days in a week so i miss a day i do it six days out of the week so so far so good i hope you're doing fantastic i'll be seeing you guys next week bye